What is up, Madden Gamers? It is Monster Champion. We're back for another round of the playoffs. This is actually the conference championship as well as the uh, regular season game I had against the Jets. The Jets owner was uh, Gibbs. Uh, S. Gibbs, you guys know him. Does the Prima Guys. Real good dude. And uh, definitely a very tough Madden player. So it's definitely going to be some very good games right here. So keep your eyes locked on it. So this first one, again, is going to be the regular season. And then the second one is, again, the playoff game. So, uh, you know, stay tuned and we'll talk about some more of that. But first, before we get into the gameplay, I really want to talk about the EA Early Access on Xbox One. Um, as well as the um, season ticket. That is uh, going to be on old gen and then kind of where PS4 users fit into all of this. And uh, is what's a rip off and all that good stuff. So kind of uh, some perspectives on everything. So let's go ahead and dive straight into that. First off, let's talk season ticket. Uh, it's going to be back. I believe this is going to be the last year for it. Don't quote me on that as we throw a terrible pick here. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe for sure this is going to be the last year on old gen. It may come back on next gen or you know current gen. But it uh, doesn't look like that's going to be the case. More looking like early access is the way EA is going, which is completely fine. But season ticket is going to be available for you guys that are on 360 in the PS3. So that's really good for you guys to be able to play Madden three days early again. And uh, basically have an unlimited time uh, within that three-day span to play the game, lab it up, you know, all that good stuff right there. So definitely something you can take advantage of if that's something you want to do. Um, others of us will just wait until the game comes out and get it then. But either way, regardless, uh, that option is available for you guys. So there's no season ticket for the PS4. There's no early access. So what is the early access? What is it going to ex exactly detail? I wanted to wait to release this until we had all the details concerning the early access. And the final bits of details have been released today. So basically how early access is going to work concerning playing Madden early. Now, I'm not going to refer to anything else um, as far as getting battlefield and you know all those other older games and getting early access to fifa but you're going to get early access to some of the newer games as they come out but most likely it's going to be simulating or repeating what's kind of you're seeing with madden again don't quote me on that but most likely that's going to be the route that they had so how it's going to work is you either pay five dollars a month and you can kind of cancel the subscription or something and uh, basically just pay for a month if you want to go that route for just getting Madden early or something like that just to get those early access to Madden um, otherwise you can do a year for 30 bucks and uh, that'll give you access to the other games as well as you know any new games that when they come out as well as the other older games that are on there um, so you have that to take advantage of now how it's gonna work with Madden is five days before the game comes out you will have the opportunity to play Madden the catch is you're only going to be able to play six hours total within those five days. So that's kind of what the big fuss has been on about or, you know, basically what everybody's been complaining about today, which is understandable if you didn't know that going into it. So a couple things um, the EA Access is also going to give you is going to be discounts on like Ultimate Team packs and things like that so you know you can take advantage of that if you're going to be downloading a lot of um, extra content or you know micro transactions if you're going to be doing a lot of those early access may also be for you now that is the other positive of the early access but let's get back to the six hour thing and all that good stuff so you can either do 34 a year or you can do five for a month so you know, definitely guys that already got the early access, I can understand exactly why you're upset because everybody's expecting the five early days. You're expecting five days of access and uh, being able to play. Uh, and yes, everyone did read the between the lines when it said, you know, you're going to be limited in how long you can play. But no one knew how long it was and everyone was asking and they just now released that information. So basically, those people, understandably so, are very upset at this moment. And, um, you know, I can definitely agree with that. Now, on the other side, I will say that I know for $5, there's a lot of people, I mean a lot of people that would pay 5 $6, even more than that, to be able to play Madden for about six hours, um, you know, before the game comes out. So, that 
you know, it's kind of going to be a it's going to be a person to person thing. It's going to be your personal opinion on how valuable it is for you to play Madden early. How valuable is it for you as an individual, money wise, time wise, and all that good stuff? To get early access to the game and to be able to play it, even if it's just for a few hours, um, to take advantage of those few hours to basically, you know, improve your game or try to get an advantage or um, try to get some videos for YouTube to get some views early. Because, you know, if you get those videos up early, you know, you're probably going to get uh, a good amount of views on them. So, you know, there's a lot of advantages to being able to play Madden early, uh, even if it is just for six hours. So that's something you can take advantage of and again like i said i can understand why you're upset by only being able to play six hours if you already got it but now that you know it's only six hours uh anyone that gets it at this point uh will know that going into hand and i mean there's really not too much to be upset about to me personally five dollars is worth the six hours or six dollars is worth six hours or whatever but uh either way to me it'd be worth it now would i pay the full 30 for it probably not for six hours basically five dollars an hour to me that's really not worth it but to somebody else again that may be worth it i mean i'm in college so <laughs> i don't have just money just sitting around all the time but needless to say to me you know the dollar per hour definitely worth it but five dollars an hour i probably wouldn't but everybody's going to be again a little different so that's pretty much the info on the early access i've talked about that enough now to the gameplay. Now you've seen the first game. We got absolutely flooded. We were making mistakes left and right. But what I did try to take advantage of was figure out what he likes to do. And um, figure out where we were making mistakes. And what kind of hot routes we can make to kind of attack his defense. Because I knew uh, based on his record that I was going to end up having to go through New York. In order to make it to the uh, Super Bowl. So I knew going in his record was really good. He only I think he only ended up with like two losses on the entire season or something like that. And I think we ended up with uh, three or four maybe. I don't know something like that. Any, either way we ended up with the two seed. The Jets were the one seed. So we definitely were prepared going into the playoffs to expect to play the Jets. And um, you know this strategy of really what I talked about uh, in the previous videos uh, learning your opponents, learning what they like to do, learning what you can do better, and uh, how to attack it really helped us out a lot in this game. We also caught some really good breaks, uh, and he also didn't catch some good breaks. But um, will that be enough for us to get the win and overcome that huge deficit we caught the first one? And right here, look at this, man. We give up a huge kick return, and he's back to the 25, back in position to be able to score. And, uh, you know, that's a very tough break because we did what we could, the best we could, uh, in order to get that stop. Uh, I mean, that last second score before halftime. And right there, we just get a huge break. So, basically, our two stops, I mean, we're not stopping him. But, again, the defense in Madden 25 was essentially try to get your opponent in the red zone or try to stop them from scoring touchdowns. If you can do that and uh, force them to take three versus scoring touchdowns or get turnovers in the red zone uh you know that's pretty much going to be the key to success on defense and so far we've been able to get a stop on a fourth down and three on a short uh yardage situation and we were also uh fortunate enough that he dropped that touchdown right before half and had to settle for three and then uh in that previous drive you've seen we were able to stop him from getting the two-point conversion so instead of it being 11-14 right now or him even having more points than us, we actually have a five-point lead in which we can take advantage of. And we are continuing to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Uh, we're having a lot of success with it right now. And that's going to give us a 12-point lead. And now, really defensively, all I'm trying to do is slow him down as much as I can. If we get one more stop, we definitely feel like we've got the game won. But with onside kicks, with fumbles, with crazy passes, with, you know, anything that could happen to Madden, kick returns, uh, anything like that, uh, it's definitely still a good ball game right here. We just got to try to slow him down. Um, you can see he's probably running a lot of hurry up at this moment. Um, it's a really fast-paced offense. He attacks a lot of different parts of the field. Very good offense and is very different 
um, than what I've faced a lot of people this year. It's not just, you know, strong power, buck sweep. You know, I'm running strong power like crazy, tapping in the work for me. But it's a very unique offense. So definitely uh, the first time you play against it's going to be uh, interesting too. So that's another thing when you're playing against people, especially if they have a unique offense or a very unique defense that you can take advantage of is um, just being exposed to it. Um, I know a couple Maddens ago when I played God's Thumbs, he had the strong close. And the first, I think, two times I played it, uh, the first game I kind of got lucky. I got a lot of fumbles and stuff. But, like, you know, I got exposed to it. And I kind of learned what worked against it and what didn't. And then when I played him in the future, um, I had a lot more success against the strong close. Now, again, he's a smart player. He uh, would switch it up to the tight doubles and all that good stuff. But um, just facing that one formation that he had basically perfected helped me versus basically anybody else that used strong close and I was able to lock down virtually everyone else that used strong close um, I think the one exception to that was God level 2 he had a really crazy strong close but other than those two like uh, strong close really didn't work against me uh, and that was just because of those two having such elite strong closes though that year that uh, it ended up working out for us and that helped us out definitely in this game here so Hopefully some of these tips helped you out, as well as the info on the EA Early Access. And until the next time, guys, be easy. We go.